patient and introduce yourself. Confirm the patient's identity by asking for his or her name and checking the armband. Explain the procedure and ask whether the patient has allergies or phobias. Obtain verbal consent from the patient to perform the procedure. Prepare the equipment. Attach the intravenous infusion set to the appropriate choice of fluid and fill the set. Ensure that there are no bubbles on the administration set. Hang the set on the drip stand. Disinfect your hands. Put on non-sterile gloves. Apply the tourniquet to an area proximal to the puncture site. Palpate an appropriate vein for the puncture. Set up your cannula. Clean the site using an alcohol swab and allow it to dry for 30 to 60 seconds. Remove the needle cap. Anchor the vein by holding the patient's arm below the puncture site. Insert the cannula at a 15 to 30 degree angle with the bevel facing upwards and advance until you see the blood flashback. Keep the needle still. Advance the cannula until the hub reaches the skin at the puncture site. Apply pressure to the vein to stop blood flow and remove the needle from the cannula and discard immediately. Release the tourniquet with the other hand. Connect the intravenous infusion to the cannula whilst maintaining the sterility of the tip of the set that you are attaching to the intravenous cannula. Open the tap and check if fluid is dropping in the drop chamber of the set. Secure the cannula in position with the tape plaster. If needed, you can also secure the tubing with tape. Thank the patient and ensure that the patient is comfortable. Discard all used medical waste into the red bin. Discard all general waste into the clear transparent bin. Remove gloves and disinfect hands with disinfectant. Ensure that you document the procedure.